If Bungie's Destiny demos and beta are representative of the final game, then Halo may have spawned a new subgenre. Call it Halo-like. And Destiny seems like a card-carrying subscriber. A few months ago at E3 when I asked Bungie CEO Pete Parsons why Destiny felt so much like playing Halo, I expected him to challenge the premise. Instead, he surprised me by embracing it. While Destiny is clearly its own game with divergent gameplay ideas, Parsons spoke of the Bungie DNA that flows through all of its games, back to the company's Mac-exclusive marathon days, in fact. If you played the Destiny beta and you're familiar with Halo's conventions, those strands, coiling through the game's control scheme and user interface, are pretty much unmissable. So is the game itself, if you're paying even casual attention to the mega marketing campaign. Over the weekend, running FXX's The Simpsons as background noise in a vacation hotel room, the lofty-sounding Destiny trailer seemed to crop up every other commercial break. Publisher Activision doubtless hoping Destiny has even longer legs than Halo, is clearly sparing the game no expense. Here's a rundown of everything, salient, that we know about the game in the run-up to its worldwide launch next week.